Hello, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the owner of Screen Surgeons, and today we're going to replace a screen on a HP DV5T-2000 laptop computer. Now, this is one of the harder laptops to replace a screen on. The reason being is that there's screws that are hidden behind the bottom assembly, so you have to disassemble the computer first to remove the screen assembly from the hinges and then get out those screws. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is remove the battery which I already have done and then you have to remove the memory cover and the hard drive cover. I've already loosened screws for the memory cover so I'm going to just pop that off put that aside. You have to remove the memory cover first and then you have to remove the hard drive cover. And now I've already removed the hard drive. The hard drive would normally be here. The reason I did that is there's a hidden screw that you have to loosen underneath that. You also have to remove the DVD drive because there's four hidden screws that you have to remove. So I've already loosened the screws up, so if you can pause your video here and look where the scotch tape is, that's where all the screws are. So once again, you have to remove the hard drive and you have to remove the optical drive to get to the hidden screws. Okay, once you do that, you flip the laptop over, like so. And the first thing you do is use some sort of sharp tool to lift up the keyboard assembly. Usually go at the corner and pop it up like this. I've already loosened it so it's a little bit easier for me. And then you have a little, you have a little bar here that you lift up and then you remove the keyboard and you put that on the side. Next thing, there's two ribbon cables that you have to release. One and two. And you use tweezers to remove the ribbon cables. Or you just grab it by the end like this. And next, you use a prying tool, something like this, to go around the edges and to pry off the top cover. I already loosened it up so it's a little bit easier for me. So it's not too hard if you get all the screws. So you carefully lift it up and you pry it off. Okay, looks like there's a screw still in there, so we have to get to the screw. I forgot to get to one screw. Now, while we're on the back, usually there's rubber feet here and there. That's another trick to this laptop, is you have to remove the rubber feet. This is what the rubber feet look like. So they are resting here and you have to remove it to get to the screw. So the two rubber feet that are closest to the screen you have to remove. Okay, now that we removed the last screw, we lift up the screen assembly and it comes right off. So now what you have to do is, this is another tricky part, is there's a little metal bar here we have to remove that also. There's three screws for that. And the reason we do that is to get to the last screw on the hinge assembly. So one, two, While I'm doing this, this is a 
laptop that uses a 14 and a half inch screen size and that's a very new screen size I think it's only been available since summer 2010 so this replacement screen is going to be a bit more expensive closer to hundred forty dollars just for the screen now once we removed this bar we have to remove the power jack to get to the screws for the hinge assembly and also what I like to do is pop out the video cable so that the screen assembly it's easier to screen assembly is easier to lift out so we popped out the video cable and so now we have access let's take a look we have access to the screws that hold the hinges on the bottom assembly so we remove those screws and this one here too like so okay last screw here and a screw here now the whole screen assembly should should lift up like this so what you still have to be careful of there's still two cables that are still attached to the bottom so you want to be very careful all I can do is rotate it so I can rest on the bottom now the reason that we removed the screen assembly is to get to these screws that were hidden before so right now they're hidden under a cover a piece of cover so we lift that up and we see the screw in there okay we rotate our turntable we do the same thing on the other side lift up the adhesive cover to reveal the screw so our next step is to remove these screws one and two okay now once these screws removed we carefully pry off the bezel or the frame that goes around the screen assembly go step by step very carefully try not to break it if you do that's okay your laptop will still work you just have a little crack when you put it back together actually I did break it a little bit but that's okay it's part of the job it won't, it won't be very noticeable once you put it back together and you remove these fellows the hinge concealers I guess you could call them and then you remove the frame so you put the frame to the side and now your screen is revealed what I like to do at this point is to put the whole screen assembly back in so that it makes it easier to work on and you put maybe one or two screws back on like so one and two so we have it here and it's easier to work on like so okay our next step is to loosen the hinge screws here so we can tilt the screen out to get to the screws that are on the side of the screen the LCD panel as it is also called and finally there's two more screws that we have to remove one right here and one 
right here. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we're going to remove this one first. And this one second. Okay, now we can tilt the whole screen assembly forward. And what we want to do is to get to these three screws on each side. So there's three screws on each side. Use those up and remove those. Okay, one. Two, three. Okay, that's on one side. We rotate the turntable and do the same thing on here. One, two, And get the third one. Be careful not to strip those, so use the right size screwdriver bit. I've had it happen to me before, and it's not pleasant to remove a stripped screw. Okay, so last thing is looks like there's a video cable connector. We have to be careful with that. It's not to damage it. These are kind of fragile. So we remove that. And then we tilt forward the whole screen assembly. We detach the video cable connector. And these LED screens, they only have one. Most LED screens have just one connector that you need to remove. And this one's a little bit tricky because we have to remove the adhesive also. So be careful not to damage the connector. Easier said than done sometimes. Just take your time on this. Okay, remove the adhesive on the back, and there we go, it's removed. So this is the screen. The part number is LP145WH1TLA1. That's the part you need to look for when you replace this screen. And it's available on eBay, like I said, current December 2010 pricing on it is about $140. I'm sure it'll get less expensive with time. Okay, and that's it.